My name's Bob Kubota and I'm the captain of this ship. This is quite a piece of history and we're trying to keep it alive so that uh, younger generation can see. They made 1,051 of these ships. And these were the workhorses. I guess they're not what you call a real sexy ship. People think of an uh, uh, aircraft carrier or battleship as being a sexy ship, but these were the workhorses. As I said, they built 1,051. That's more than they built of any other ship during World War II. These ship could just drive right up on a decent beach and unload your construction equipment instead of tanks right onto the beach. The ship participated in uh, the invasions of uh, Sicily, Salerno, which is about halfway up the west coast of uh, Italy, and then uh, Normandy. A lot of people think it's just because you participate in D-Day that it's like a one-day event, but actually it took from D-Day, was of course in June, it took from June till end of the year, or late December, this trip made 40, a total of 44 crossings from Engl England over to various ports in France. I've been here several years and I've noticed over the, the time that uh, there's a lot of people who come on and they'll say, my dad landed at Normandy. And I don't know what ship, but you know, there was a very good chance there was a ship very similar to this one. And uh, they can make a connection that, that it's possible that their dad was on a ship, maybe not this one, but very, very similar to this. And the same ships were used, of course, in the Pacific. So uh, again, they can make some type of family connection. So we'd like to keep that alive and also keep, uh, remind people, this is definitely not a cruise ship by any means. It's pretty Spartan conditions. And the, the crew that was on here, this is how they lived. And they knew that they were here for the duration, whether it was going to be a year, two years, three years, whatever. When you were assigned, you were pretty much here for the duration. So just, yeah, really think about what the, what, as they say, the greatest generation did. That's why we're still here.